Tatsy Talk with Jeremy back in the room with Brandon and Pam. Mm-hmm. And we were just talking about the Mandela effect and such. And then I asked her if she thought we went to the moon. And Pam, what did you say about that? I said, hell no. And now tell me what your reason, what you found, what makes you say, no, we haven't. Okay. Well, my main question with it is, Mm -hmm. if we went to the moon, how come nobody else has ever been back? How come we've only gone six times, you mean? What's that? How come we've only went six times from 1969 to 1972 and never after? That's pretty weird, huh? Well, right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'd think people would want to be exploring and, you know. Mining. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's my main question. There we go. Perfect. But, you know, apparently that makes me a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> well, I agree with you, just so that you know. The deepest hole on Earth is eight miles into the Earth, but we can somehow go 238,000 miles away from Earth. Right. I don't believe that at yeah, all. Yeah, I don't either. And also, we're reworking this team for us to get to everybody. While talking about things that we can get to Are you able to see my shirt? Yes. Can you read it? Lunar module or homeless. Tweak your shirt. It's a good one, huh? That is good. Well, I think it, it kind of cracks me up the way people get so worked up over it and, and, and oh no, we did, we did. And I'm like, who could care? Who cares if we did or didn't? You know? I don't understand what it does because I don't think we did. I guess. For me, what it does is it gives NASA billions of dollars of money oh, a year. Oh, that's true. In funding. Yeah, that's true. It makes people believe in space travel. It makes you believe that we can have a colony on the moon. It makes you forget about Earth, where we live, and makes people think that we can put live somewhere else magically. You know? yeah. Um, yeah. I also think it helps further people thinking, ooh, more space and planets and just... I don't know. I think we should be more focused on what is here on Earth as yeah. opposed to what's outside of Earth. Let's let's uh, let's uh, whatever explore our freaking uh, depths of the sea, you right. know, and see what the heck is under or on Earth as opposed to what's away from Earth. But that's just my humble opinion. Well, and then when you bring up the aspect of money, it's like if you believe that we didn't go to moon, then what the fuck did they spend all that money on, and what are they still spending it? They could be spending it on planes to spray the skies, maybe. <laughs> they could. They could be using it to make some nice vaccines to give to people. I don't know. I'm oh, getting... fuck vaccines. It's really? It's freaking poison. Yep. Okay. Do you have children? Yes. Did they get vaccinated? No, sir. And what did your doctor make you feel when they did not get the vaccine? Well, I've been with the same doctor for quite a while. Okay, wait. Correction. My kids have had one. Because, you know, it really freaking picks pissed me off was last year we had a quote-unquote outbreak of <laughs> what the fuck was it um E. coli no it's some stupid benign disease oh. it's basically like you get a cold you might get a rash you know all the kids that had been not been vaccinated okay wait outbreak let me back up was three cases that was an outbreak. Wow. And they would not let any of the kids who had not been vaccinated in school for two full weeks. Really? Yeah. And they were literally had the security guard at the door. And if you did not have a letter from your doctor saying that you the kid had been vaccinated, they weren't allowed to go to school. Wow. Yeah. Crazy things. And unfortunately, I wasn't in the position where I could, you know, allow my... 15-year-old to hang out at home for two weeks. Oh, right, of course. So I had to take him in, and he had to get that one. But but it really pissed me off that, it, you know, I just, that I felt like I was being forced to conform, you know. Oh, well, yeah. That really pissed me off. Because there's exceptions you can file and all that stuff for whatever reason if you don't want to vaccinate. But mm-hmm. when there's an out. An outbreak. Big old three of them, outbreak. huh? Outbreak. Oh, yeah. All three. <laughs> wow. And you know what? That makes me think of a... Uh, here, here's another subject. When it comes to school shootings, 
Mm -hmm. Did you know that if some kids are at a school at 9 p.m. with a BB gun shooting at whatever, that that's a school shooting? Oh, Outside yeah. of school hours, if someone kills themselves yeah. on school property, that's a school mm -hmm. yeah. shooting? Oh, yeah, their statistics are so tweaked and out of whack, you know? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, if somebody happens to discharge, discharge a firearm and it hits a school building, that's a school shooting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so there hasn't been what everyone thinks there has been this no. year. But mm -mm. Not even close. Not even. Wow. So then, do, do your family think you're a freaking idiot for thinking we didn't go to the moon? Do they give you crap, or are they pretty open oh, to no, your stuff? Oh, no, they're good. It's just kind of, you know, lighthearted teasing gotcha, about it. Gotcha, okay. So, but, um, but, yeah, no, we're we're super conservative family, so it's... You know, it's not like a heated debate or anything. Right. They just make me a foil hat and leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know, my other favorite thing about the moon is I love that uh, Richard Nixon mm -hmm. was able to call Neil Armstrong when he was on the moon, 238,000 miles away. He was? From a landline. Yeah, you can oh. go on YouTube and look up this <laughs> video. He's talking to him from a landline. They brought the cord, the big long curly cord from Earth no. to the moon too. Oh my gosh! I didn't. I never knew that. <laughs> yep, that's that. It's a good one. That's so. hilarious. <laughs> wow. I don't know like all my facts and everything, but I've you know watched a few different programs and done a little bit of research on it. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like once I hear something that puts enough doubt in my mind, I'm like, meh. I'm I'm done with it. Yeah. yeah. I'm like I'm not convinced. Oh, good stuff. It is. All right, we're going to sign off for now, but we're coming back right. when Brandon's done or unless we get another good conversation, possibly. <laughs> so thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll be white, black.